Hey there, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Unboxing. So I'm kind of tearing it open right now. You can hear it in the background. So let's see what we got. I think I know what we got. And it is what I thought we were, we were getting. Boy, it's really packed up. Like, man. It's going bars. Holy smokes. Uh, I just played a game of Deep Drive. It's on my channel. Check it out if you want to see that game, how it, how it rolls, how it plays. Very simple. And uh, let me get it out of the bag, and here you go. This is what we got. Thank you very much. This is a classic. $39.99, I guess, in the store because I didn't. Oh, that's what I paid. $39.99. That's, that's not bad. All right, so the box is beat up. We can we can fix it with some, some, uh, some cardboard, uh, uh, some... I forget what that tape is called, but we'll fix this box. We'll make it nice. And uh, here it is. So we got some 1983. Now, I've been looking for this Status Pro set for a long time because, you know, I've done multiple replays of uh, of um, Tom Seaver, right? Because 83 was a big year. He returned to the Mets, and supposedly he was never going to leave again. And somehow they they didn't protect him, and he was taken as a free agent. So we're going to look and see here uh, what we got. Uh, I, I heard that there were some cards missing. I don't know how true that is. I'm not sure. Mostly the uh, National League is cut out, so the work has been done for me. So I will see. I already ha have contacted a couple of guys who uh, who own this set. And uh, it doesn't look like New York. Look, a lot of cards there, my friends. And this set, for a few years, I know for sure, had most of the players, like 99% of the players. And that looks real thick. So I don't see that there's many players missing there. And to be honest with you, this company, I don't know. I got it from a company called something. Uh, it's on a box. Let me look real quickly here. They're called uh, Excalibur Games. So I don't think they really know what's missing or what isn't missing. They said, we think there's a couple of teams missing. But uh, I th I don't know. They said with the, with the, maybe with the... With the Angels, they said there was a couple of teams missing. Here are the cards, right? Fast action cards. Looks like there's two sets. Hmm, that's weird. Fast action card. Fast action cards. So like two sets of fast action cards, which is good. Houston, so more National League teams. I'm trying to separate the National League teams to go. And I do want to play some uh, 1983 receiver, right? We got the little tokens. They're blue. Pretty blue color, 19. So this came out in 84, Avalon Hill, right? Here's Atlanta and uh, and Pittsburgh. And this game is driven by the cards, by fast action cards. And uh, this is Mel Hall with Chicago. He's he's actually in jail right now, Mel Hall. For uh, I don't know some crime, pedof pedophile act. Uh, I don't know he was romancing a fourteen year old or some some weird thing, but it's a whole crazy story. This her family knew about it and they accepted him because he was a big star. I don't know some some crazy thing like that. Uh, I think that I don't know. I'm not sure if that's his original story or the new story. Why he's in jail? I'm not sure. All right, Philadelphia and. Uh, Seattle. These teams were, they started to take them apart, these AL teams, but they never did. Howard Johnson with Detroit. I don't know Howard Johnson was with Detroit. Oh, wait, he goes, uh, no, he's with Detroit before he comes to the Mets, I guess. Wow, nuts. Jamie Quirk, that's St. Louis. Um, J J Jack Clark, a lot of cards there. So the rest of it is all American League. I'm going to put the American League on the other side. Because I'm not really looking for the American League. Texas, Los Angeles. There's some pictures here. Okay. That's Texas. And there's some cards that haven't been separated. So that's why there's some, all these like American, these are all American League teams. Baltimore, Seattle, Detroit. So they started to separate them and they said, ah, oh, this, this sucks. I'm too busy. I'm going to go to the bar and I'm going to have some drinks. And that's why I play this game. So I don't go to the bar and have no drinks. All right, so the, here, as you can see, this is uh, 
These are the teams that haven't been separated. Reggie Jackson plays with the Angels. So you got a lot of unseparated players. Uh, okay, so then we get some. What is this? This is. I wonder why these guys are in blue. Not sure. I'm not sure why these guys are in blue. Sometimes it's because they were traded or stuff like that. I'm not sure. Maybe there's two cards for those guys. I'm not totally sure. But again, they're all American League teams. This is all Texas now. That's strange. T Toronto. Okay, these are like extra player type thing. And uh, here are the rules. Here's some. Uh, you got the score sheets. You always got a ton of score. This game came with a ton of score sheets. Uh, ni nice and thick uh, set of score sheets. The rules are very simple to follow. This game had only three charts, and they're easy to learn. Doesn't take much to learn these charts. Very straightforward game. Very easy to play. The rules usually also these rules at some point came with how to create your own players. Uh, explain how to create your own players. Um, let's see. I think this is it. I think is how to rate your the players. Yeah, yeah. This is the part of how to rate your players. Player rating method. This was great. So you can make your own cards. So that's very cool. I like that about it. He was very open and generous with his his invention, I guess, if you will. Wow, this ha these haven't been used. These are like untouched, man. These are pristine. Very nice. And then we get the board, the 83 board, right, which it looks like the other boards. I'm not going to open up the whole thing. It looks like the other boards. So it's a heavy-duty, sturdy board. It looks like the other boards. This is a quality game. I mean, this is a high-quality, high, you know, it's got everything you need. It's a very good, thick board. And it's got everything, all the instructions. Well, they're not. They're, they're the charts are on the board. So while you're playing, you got a place to put your you got your field, your your uh, place to put your your teams, and then of course you can have your little tokens that you can use for different things. And and uh, the the chart, the main charts like base stealing or bunting or anything like that is going to be on the uh, playing board. And then what you have, this is really really the outs, the the side charts. It's like the out chart, base is empty, man on first, you know, that sort of thing, man on second. So that's going to be your out charts. And, uh, oh, these are still stuck together. I didn't even separate them. This last chart, I think, is your Z chart. This is where rare plays happen. You got your second and third out chart. You got your yellow bases loaded out chart. Uh, out chart. So you can you can remember by the colors. The unusual plays. See is the blue. All right, so let's look and see. We got four, we got 12 teams. And um, I don't know, you said there's a couple of players missing in Los Angeles or something like that. And how would they know that? I mean, how would, there's no roster. You know what I'm saying? I think they just made that up. But I'm going to put this together. I'm going to play a couple of games. Um, Seaver, I'll play his first game against the Phillies. He plays his first season game. He faces the Philadelphia Phillies. And uh, let's find Tom Terrific in here because we need him, right? It looks like they played with uh, – these look kind of a little bit soiled, so it may have played with the with the uh, Mets. I played with this team so many times. Um, I know, like, every player they have. Um, crazy. Ron Darling, 83. Walt Terrell, Walt Terrell, so Walt Terrell's got two, oh, he's got a batter and a pitcher card, Ed Lynch, huh, interesting, this year Roscoe, they had a really good, yeah, these guys are a little bit dirty, let's see, I still haven't found, uh, oh, that, okay, are the pitchers in blue, is that what's happening, they put the pitchers in blue and the batters in black, there's Tom Terrific, that's his batting card, and here's his pitching card, so that'll be fun playing uh, Tom Terrific using Status Pro, and uh, that's it, my friends. This is an unboxing of of Status Pro Baseball. It's a fun set. I was able to get it for about forty bucks, and then plus shipping. You know, shipping is expensive now, and some tax. Uh, years ago, of course, eBay would not charge for tax. Now they charge for tax. So yeah, I don't know if you can get any any of these games for any less than unless you get them on one of the forums sometimes, or you trade for them. 
you know, trade, trading guys is the best way to go. Trade something that you're not using anymore for something that, uh, you know, you really want to use. But I've been looking for this set for a couple of years now, and nowhere could I find the 1983 Status Pro. To be honest with you, I thought they didn't make it. I was starting to think maybe they skipped that year, or maybe they turned it into a video game or a computer game, or they did something different that year. I don't know, because I could not find the 83 season cards, which was the 84, you know, the set sold in 84. And I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I didn't see them anywhere. It's one set that I've been wanting to buy for a couple of years. And I was able to get it, so I'm excited to play with Tom Seaver. So there'll be a, you know, it'll be an, an added uh, motivation for me to to roll some Status Pro. It's not the first game in my in my, um, you know, uh, chart of, of games. Um, it's you know, it, I have fun playing it, but it's not at the top. So maybe this will give me a little bit more of uh, a motivation to roll some extra Status Pro games. And, uh, and that's about it. So this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. I hope you enjoyed the, the unboxing of Status Pro. Um, let's see, anything else? We got all the players. But the thing with this, they're, they're only one-sided, so it's easy to kind of set these up and, and print out new ones. So if I want a clean set so I don't have to use these soiled mets, I can just set them up on my scanner and print nice clean ones. And then just save these for when I sell it. I just put these in the box. But they, these seem a little soiled, so um, interesting, right? Interesting. That I'm, I'm thinking that the person maybe felt the same way I did. Uh, they, they, well, actually, you know what? They were playing with the National League, right? They were playing with the National League because that's that's the only league that they separated. So they were into the National League, and so they were. So I guess they played the Mets a lot. And I'm sure the other teams are kind of beat up as well. Let me see. Let's look. You can usually see on the side. Yeah, I see them all a little bit soiled. A little bit. I mean, they're not bad, right? They're not bad. Look, mostly they're pretty good. There are some marks on them. But, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. But these cards are just straight-up cardstock, good thick cardstock, and it's just one-sided, so they're easy to kind of recreate. And that's about it. So uh, thanks a lot. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. I will see you guys soon.